our next door neighbours, they're not Christians yet. They call my wife and I the neighbours from heaven. <laughs> That's quite encouraging, actually, isn't it? You don't want to be called the neighbours from the other side, do you? <laughs> anyway, the lady, she had a stroke. And as a consequence of the stroke, she fell into a coma and um, had to be admitted into a hospital. And, and um, the family came round. She was in intensive care. The family came round and said, we've just met with the doctors. And the doctors have told us that there's no brain activity. And uh, we're going to switch off the life support machine in five days. And uh, my wife said, I was away that day, my wife said, oh, listen, is there any way that we can go and visit her before you turn the life support machine off? They said, oh, would you? Because she was so fond of you. And, and it worked out, because I was away, I got back. We went on the fifth day. So the day after, they're gonna turn off the life support machine. We, we go to the hospital, we walk into this intensive care room, and uh, she's there on her own. We walk in and I, I, I call out to her and I say, hey, the neighbors from heaven are here. My wife's like, be quiet. <laughs> We're in intensive care. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. So then I start speaking to her and I say to her, listen, we've come to pray for you. So Killy gets hold of her hand. I hold Killy's hand. I hold her other hand. And I say, Killy, let's pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. And we prayed, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. As we said, your kingdom come, she woke up. Oh. She's home. She's home. She's still not a Christian. <laughs> What's all that about? <laughs> Christianity works. Now listen, listen. I've been in the ministry for 33 years. A Christian, it's, it's, Christians are Easter people who live in a Good Friday world. The world is broken. In our world, there is the tension between miracle and mystery. And I realize that. And you might be in a situation where you feel uh, overwhelmed by, by these mysteries that are happening to you, burdens, whatever it is. God knows. God knows. Yeah. 